What's up guys? In this video, I will guide you on how to connect your laptop or PC to your Sony TV wirelessly without HDMI. So by the end of this video, you should be able to mirror your laptop screen to any Sony TV you have, whether it's the Sony Bravia Android TV or the Sony Bravia Google TV or even the old Sony Bravia TV. And this is going to work perfectly fine without any problem. Now to achieve this, first things first, you want to come over to your Sony TV and on your Sony TV over here, I am using the Sony Bravia Google TV. What you want to do is to basically just connect your Sony TV to your Wi-Fi or your hotspot network. So head over to the settings of your Sony TV, usually at the top right corner of the TV. Come over to the internet settings from the settings icon over here. You want to just scroll down and you're going to see the network and internet settings. Select that and then proceed to make sure your Wi-Fi is turned on and also connect to your Wi-Fi network or your hotspot network. And once that is done on your laptop, you want to also make sure you connect to the same Wi-Fi or hotspot network that your Sony Bravia TV is connected to. So basically on my laptop over here, if I come over to the network and internet settings just at the bottom of the laptop, I will just open Open it up and then make sure that i also connect to the same wi-fi or hotspot network now once you're sure that both devices are connected to the same wi-fi or hotspot network there are basically two ways you can proceed to connect your laptop to your sony tv wirelessly the first method is to basically use the screen mirroring feature of your browser now you can just go ahead and open up any browser on your laptop it can be the google chrome browser or the microsoft edge browser i'll be using the google chrome browser over here now open up the browser and once the browser opens up at the top right corner over here you're going to see this three dots icon on your browser go ahead and select it and then you just want to scroll down continuously until you find the cast option and as you can see at the bottom over here we have the cast save and share option just navigate to the left hand side and you're going to see the cast feature over here for the Microsoft Edge browser, if you go under the More Tools option, you should be able to find the Cast option just the same way we have been able to find it on the Google Chrome browser. Now, what you just want to do is to go ahead and click on Cast and your laptop will automatically start searching for all of the devices that are connected to the same Wi-Fi as the laptop itself. Now, what you just want to do is to go ahead and select the name of your TV. As you can see, this is actually the name of my TV. But before you select it, come over to the Source option over here and then make sure you change these settings to cast screen and not the cast tab option and once you're done you can now go ahead and select the name of your sony tv now and automatically your laptop screen will be connected to your sony tv and this actually works pretty well even if you exit the browser you can also see that it works very well without any problem and without any rag but if this first method does not work out for you, another method you can actually try is to basically just use the screencasting feature of your laptop. Now for this, you basically just want to go ahead and press on the shortcut Windows plus K and the screen mirroring feature on your laptop is going to open up or alternatively, you can just come over to the Windows icon over here, click on Windows, then go over to settings and then from settings, go over to the system settings. And then from here, you're going to see the display settings, open it up and then you just want to scroll down continuously until you get to under the multiple display option over here. You're going to see the connect to a wireless display, select that and your laptop will start to search for available devices it can actually connect to. Make sure that both your laptop and your Sony TV are actually connected to the same Wi-Fi network and the laptop should be able to find it but keep in mind that this particular method does not always work out for some google tvs and some android tvs if it works out for you then fine you should be able to find the name of your tv from the list of devices over here also once you're able to connect your laptop to your sony tv using this particular second method at the bottom over here you can go ahead and choose to use your sony tv as a second screen or a second display for your laptop as well just where we have the multiple display option you're going to see the option to extend your screen or use your sony tv as a second display select that and you're good to go if you find this video useful don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to this youtube channel for more interesting tech tips like this one